The new Health and Science Building fulfills a need that uh, Bristol Community College uh, provides for the, for the community. We're going to have upscale labs, we're going to have a new nursing lab, a new dental hygiene lab, uh, more classrooms, and uh, all equipped uh, with the tools for success that our students need. Students want to be part of that new building. It's exciting as they see it go up and they're asking, well, what's going to be in there? And I'm proud to say that it's going to be, um, a majority of it is the healthcare programs. The availability of the new building to house more of these programs and more people certainly is important, to, whether it's on a community or a statewide basis. I think it's going to be a very exciting place for people to teach in and to learn in. We are going to be having new types of equipment that's going to allow the technological advances and the dental advances to be meshed together. And this is going to be an absolutely wonderful learning opportunity for students. The new building will be a standard for excellence, not only in education, but also in the sustainability. Uh, it, it is spectacular. It's already won some uh, national awards without even being built yet uh, because of the path-breaking opportunities that, uh, that this design provides. The Taunton Center has really changed since I first arrived. The number of students have increased. What we offer for resources has increased. They are in there as early as 8 o'clock in the morning, ready to use the computers to complete their math assignments, to complete writing assignments. Um, we just have a real sense of opportunity to serve the Taunton, Rainham, and surrounding communities. Providing resources to the Taunton Center, priceless opportunity to ensure that our students reach their goals. And they're really committed to reaching their goals. We have a campus in New Bedford, we have a campus in Attleboro. We made sure and made clear that this was a campaign for all parts of Bristol uh, County. Biotechnology, this is the whole area of growth in the world and BCC is really one of the feeder programs for preparing all of our students uh, for what is going to be and what is right now the new wave in the economy. To think how far we have come with technology and um, students that are growing up now are going to have access to the latest and greatest simulators. We are always trying to um, alter what we do to meet changing needs. We, we are depending on people because technology is so expensive and we need to have people to have our vision so we could go forward and build a better community in this area. Because they're going to go out into the local community and be able to service the people that live here and be educated in the best environment possible with the best simulations. And there is a need for Bristol Community College to provide the adequate training and the state-of-the-art training uh, for these needs. The scholarship piece of the campaign is exceptionally important. Uh, the community colleges are built to be affordable and accessible, and that's not always the case. Scholarship money has become almost essential for, you know, 75, 80% of a student body. People wouldn't be here without the scholarship. It's that simple. That's how real it is. The stronger and the larger is that we have that scholarship pool, the more students are able to tap into it and nourish themselves economically. People tend to, when they've been the recipients of, of aid in that way, they tend to look outward more. And it's good for them, it's good for their families, and it's good for the community at large. Even if it's just, uh, you know, $500, even if it's just for books and tuition, that type of impact, that external pressure being relieved from the students, you could tell that now they're able to focus on their academics. If you see a flyer, if you see something uh, about what we're trying to do, please support the campaign. It's very important. We're very important to the region, and most importantly, it's important for our students.